I'm exhausted. I just published day one's video. It took me many hours to do. And I can't believe I have to do the same thing today and the same thing the next 28 days after that. This is hard. So in case you're new here, my name's Avery Smith and over the next 30 days, I'm doing something that no data scientist has ever done before. And that is building 30 full data science projects in 30 days. And today is day two. I'm really excited about the product I'm building today and I can't wait to share with you guys. But first I need to go brush my teeth and eat breakfast and like do all that stuff. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and today's video, I'm so excited. We're covering someone who has gone quite viral recently. You may have seen him on Instagram or TikTok. Not my favorite person on earth, but check him out. Andrew Tate. Now, if you never heard of Andrew Tate before, join the club, I hadn't either. He's a former kickboxing world champion and now is more famous for posting selfies without a shirt, having really big muscles, saying very sexist and controversial things on the internet in interviews and smoking cigars and having nice sports cars and proclaiming to be very rich and very famous. Now, I am not the biggest Andrew Tate fan. I think he says some things that are pretty outlandish and pretty sexist, but you cannot disagree, this person has gone completely viral over the last few months. And if you open up TikTok, Instagram, you're probably going to find him somewhere on your page. Now recently in an interview, Andrew Tate said this. And I'm now the most famous man on the planet. I'm more Googled than Donald Trump, Joe Biden. Look it up. I'm more, I'm the most Googled man on the planet. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. fact? Uh, fact. Look up that. Donald Trump, Joe Biden versus Andrew Tate. And that is exactly what we are going to do today. Is Andrew Tate the most Googled person on the planet? Or is he lying? We're about to find out. This is what the end product will eventually look like. But before we get to there, I want to show you how I got the data and how to do this entire project. First, let's talk about Google. Google is the biggest search engine out there and we Google everything, right? And here's the cool thing about Google is they actually let you take a peek behind the curtain and understand what people are Googling when and actually give you some of that data. It's called Google Trends and you can access it at trends.google.com. And you can go ahead and see, it shows you what states are searching Taylor Swift more than Kim Kardashian, where the World Cup is the most popular to search in the world, where people search football versus American football more. These are just a couple of examples that you can check out on Google Trends. And the coolest part is that you can actually enter a search term or topic yourself. So for this particular example, we are interested in Andrew Tate. So we can type in Andrew Tate and go ahead and see how many people are Googling Andrew Tate. And so this is Andrew Tate interest over time for the past 12 months. Now this number on the Y axis right here, it says interest over time. What that really means is it is just some made up normalized number that Google uses to be able to show you relative interest in a certain topic. And that explains right here, if you click this, this number represents a interest relative to the highest point of the chart for a given region and time. A value of 100 is the peak popularity for the term. A value of 50 means that the term is half as popular. A score of zero means there was not enough data for this term. And so what this really means is this number doesn't actually really mean anything. It's not how many millions of views or times it was searched. It's just a made up number that's supposed to represent the interest over time. But the cool thing is, is you can actually compare this search term to another search term. So for example, we can also add Joe Biden into the mix and see what that search term looks like over the last 12 months. And what you'll actually see is, wow, there's actually been a lot of searches for Joe Biden. The peak was at this October 31st through November 6th area. Um, and spoiler alert, you can see at the very end here, the last week, Andrew Tate has been more Googled than Joe Biden. We can also add other people like uh, Donald Trump, for instance, Donald Trump by adding right there. And we can add up to five different things. So another person that we might want to add is Elon Musk. And the last person that we might want to add is Will Smith. So we can add Will Smith. These are five popular men that, you know, might be searched more often than Andrew Tate. What you can see when we're looking at the last 12 months, that we are actually, these numbers are comparable. These five people we can compare at once. We, can no, we can't compare more than five people at once. So we can only compare zero to five people and we can see that, wow, that Will Smith was the most Googled from March 27th to April 2nd. So all five of these numbers are all relative and they are comparable. And what's really cool about this is you can actually change the time. So that's the past 12 months. Well, what about the past five years? 
Once again, that will show you all the data last five years. So for instance, I'm assuming this is when the election was for Joe Biden and Donald Trump, but that is nowhere as close as the Will Smith incident. So that was very, very Googleable. People were really Googling that. We can also change it to the last week, which will be the focus of our study and see how these people were Googled over the past week on like an hourly basis. Now, Google Trends actually does have that data visualization, those line graphs already baked into the platform, which is really awesome because you don't actually need to go anywhere else to finish your analysis, to view the actual data. It views it for you, so we really appreciate it. But it's not necessarily the most eye-capturing, captivating story. And what I really like to do with these time series where you have people just switching positions and becoming more popular and less popular is actually animate it across like a visualization and animate the actual race, the story, and just livens things up and makes it more interesting. So all you need to do is choose what time period you want and you can click this download button right here and that will download this as a CSV. Now that CSV is ready to go and ready to use. This is what it will kind of look like where it'll have the time as a column and then your different characters up here and then the values of the interest over time in the different cells. And that's all good and dandy, but for what I know what we're going to do, I actually just want to transpose this. And I don't really agree with this, but the platform I'm going to use that I'll get to here in a second wants the time to be Y columns, okay? So what I'm going to do is just copy all of this by using Shift, Control, Right, Shift, Control, Down, Control, C, go up here and open up a new sheet. And you can go ahead and just use the edit, the paste special, transpose. And now you'll have all of the uh, columns be the dates, and these rows are the different characters that we selected. I'm then going to use this tool called Flourish. So go to flourish.studio, and this is a free tool that you can use to make beautiful data visualizations. They have awesome resources. So go ahead and sign up for an account. I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in. I'm going to click new visualization up here. I'm going to scroll down until I find the animated line charts. They call them line chart races. I'm going to go ahead and choose the simple. Okay. If you choose that, it'll automatically populate with its pre template, which automatically has the X axis up here. And we're viewing some sort of, I don't know, time series data where stuff goes up and down. Now we can replace this data with our own data. So all you need to do is click on the data tab up here at the right hand side, go to your transpose data, which I have done in uh, Google Sheets. You can do this in Excel. Use shift control down, shift control right, control C for copy, and just go ahead and click on the top cell here and paste the top cell. Now that will go ahead and have your entire time series with the different characters. Make sure the label is that first uh, column here. We can call them persons. And then also make sure you delete any of the remaining old data that might be there. So, and then the label should be A, it should go B to Z. And if you go back to the preview, you should now see the new data set with Elon Musk, Andrew Tate, Donald Trump, Will Smith, and Joe Biden, and have it be this animated bar chart. Now, obviously this is really slow, so you can come down to the animation side right here and lower this to something like 100, and that should speed it up quite a bit. We can change this to 100 as well. I think that will make it a little bit faster. And you can see that is our animation right here. Now you can go ahead and do some fancy things like instead of having the X axis at the top, you can put it at the bottom. You can change the angle of these. You can change the colors. You can add these to have pictures. If you go back to the data, you'll see that you can add an image right here. So if I wanted to do that, I would basically just insert a column to the right. I can call it image or something like that. And then if you give a URL of the actual images, so I've already done that on this other one. So these are just different URLs of those people's images. Hopefully that is in the right order. Yep, that looks right. I can paste those in and choose this to be the image column. I can go back to the preview and there we go. We have the images right there. Also, it comes default with, you can click this and it'll restart the entire animation. Or if instead you want to have the scores, you want to have the ranks as in first place, second place, third place, fourth place, stuff like that. You can click this ranks right here and that'll switch it to first place, second place, third place, fourth place, fifth place. And that'll let you see that actually Andrew Tate has been first place over the last couple days at different times of the day, really just switching back and forth with Elon Musk 
for the most part. Joe Biden did have about an hour where he was the most searched, but um, oh, I guess Will Smith did as well. So all of them, except for Donald Trump, had their, their moment at being the most famous Google man of the entire earth. After cleaning up the graph, I was able to make this. I gave it a title and a little subtitle that kind of explains, wow, is Andrew Tate the most Google man on earth? Let's take a look. Um, and we can, I made these pictures just a little bit bigger so you could actually see. And it's true, Andrew Tate is the most Googled man on earth according to this data. Um, at different times, he has beat out Elon Musk and Joe Biden and Will Smith and Donald Trump. So I guess he was not wrong in the podcast. That's kind of surprising, but who knew? After making this cool graph, I wanted to share it with someone and who better to share it with than the data YouTuber Shashank because he knows a ton about pop culture and history. So I gave him a call. Would you say Andrew Tate is famous? Very, extremely. And in, in, in no time at all, I think in like six months, he like rose to become more famous than Mr. Beast. Do you think Andrew Tate is the most searched person on Google? Today, uh, August 2nd, I would, you know, or like, you know, around this time frame, I would not be surprised if he was. More than Joe Biden. Unfortunately, yes, I think so. I have made a data visualization. I have done the analysis, Shashank, to find right. out if he, if he truly is the most Googled man on earth. Does this graph show you, Shashank, that Andrew Tate is the most Googled male on planet earth? Uh, it, so he's way up there and yeah, yeah. As of today, I would say, yes. Yeah, so he is the uh, dark blue line. And I would say, I would argue that Elon Musk is probably higher on average, but I think if you extrapolate this data for another week or two, Andrew Tate would probably beat him. Um, but yeah, if I was to guess, I would say, I think Elon Musk is just edging him out, but barely. Shashank and I then, you went back to Google Trends and tried to find some other people that might be more famous and more searched than Andrew Tate. We tried actually Beyonce, who just released an album this week, and she was way more popular than Andrew Tate. We also went further back in time and tried people like Alec Baldwin or Taylor Swift, and they were a lot more searched than Andrew Tate as well. So was Andrew Tate lying? Not really. He is really popular right now, according to Google Trends. And now you have an awesome template to do any sort of project. You do this by the most popular sports, the most popular sports players. Maybe you do different NBA players or different soccer players, like as they score goals or are transferred or stuff like that. You can do this with musicians as they release albums. Google Trends and Flourish animations is a winning combination that you could potentially create hundreds of projects on and really make cool projects that people will care about. So that is it for today's project. If you want all of the files and the code, as well as some other project ideas of how you can spin this off, please click the description down below so you can get all of the code resources for all 30 days for absolutely free. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you do not miss any of these videos. And I appreciate you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow for day three.